social media is a problem now. Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Shanre. So in today's video, we'll be talking about social media pressure. So as many of you know, social media has been a headache to a lot of ladies, including myself before I even got married. You know, it's become so addictive to the extent that people are doing things which are not supposed to be done simply because of the pressure coming from other people. Social media has become so competitive to the extent that this, those so-called celebrities are living a fake life. Most of them are living a fake life. You see some will post a new car for my boyfriend or a new this, blah, 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 or I just bought a house, blah, blah, blah. And if you are that greedy type, You'd fall for it and you'd want to do something to get the same thing and it's going to cost you a lot. The competition on social media is crazy now. It's so crazy, guys. It's crazy to the extent that people, so many people are living a fake life on social media. But you'd be sitting at home and you'd be watching and you'd be also feeling the same way that, oh, I wish I'm like this person. I wish I have this 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 thing this person has that a car this person has a house this person has you know like you don't know what is closed doors you don't know what is happening to them you don't know how come they got those things but it's so much of a pressure to the extent that you would want to be in their shoes so you fall for anything or you you try and do something and it's gonna mess your life up it's really sad so you working and working hard for your money you see such things on social media and it will put pressure on you and make you do certain things you're not supposed to do like maybe sleep with a man for money or you know it's hard because some a lot of people i have friends i have nigerian friends and so many they all tell me most of them they tell me do you know that some of the girls now that they go to the buying camp most of them they go to Dubai or maybe they go to a country and sleep with dogs. They sleep with dogs simply because they want to show up when they come to their country. It's sad. You see a friend and all of a sudden your friend is driving a Range Rover. All of a sudden your friend has a house. Like Instagram is for showing a lot of a lot a lot of fake things like those celebrities, those girls, those they travel and they come and where they go most is Dubai. And they go and they come. When they go to Dubai and they come and things change, the game changes. It changes totally for them. They 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 got a car, they either buy a car or rent an expensive apartment and you are there, you are an entrepreneur. And you're making something small out of what you're selling, but the pressure will be making you, hmm, why don't I also go for a rich boyfriend or let me, so that I can also go to Dubai and all of that. You know, like, people don't sleep all. Because of what they've done to get what they have now, they don't sleep. They cry every day and they have regret. So just be content with whatever you have. The little you have, work hard and you get there. Trust me. Social media is not a place for you to um, think about, hey, this person is having this, this person is having that, and make it put pressure on you because most of them are liars. Most of them are fake. They lie. Some put their relationship out there. They don't even have a boyfriend. They don't even have a car. They don't even have a place they put their head, but they will be posting and all of that. So if you let social media put pressure on you, then my sister, you have a long way to go so please just be content with whatever you have appreciate it and work hard and you get there what i believe in is patience and time and work hard simple just work hard and believe you me you get there 
you'd be surprised you are here at this point and you'd, you'd be surprised is this my life is this me simply because you focused on the little you have and you appreciated it so much and you're working hard for it so trust me social media is not going to take you anywhere it takes you in a you can either make it become a positive or a negative side so you choose the positive side and go on and keep going but if you let the negative side weigh you down it's going to make everything bad in your life so please let's just be vigilant let's be vigilant and let's know the bad and the good everyone is getting married for the wrong reason because they realize people are getting married so they also want to get married and later they divorce one week two weeks one month they divorce peer pressure is killing us peer pressure is making us do things we are not supposed to be doing it is driving us crazy it's controlling us so much we shouldn't let it control us we should control peer pressure we should control social media because social media is in our palm social media has a negative and a positive impact on us on our life because there are so many things happening and we are falling for it slowly social media the positive side is you can sell your item or whatever if you're an entrepreneur you can sell your your product and make fast money and also the negative side is you can either join a bad company or um do bad things because of pressure the pressure people are giving on social media so i would advise you stick to whatever you're doing the little business you're doing stick to that and trust me you work hard and you get there so i'm here to say to my beautiful ladies out there that we shouldn't let social media control us should rather let it motivate us and make us work harder and harder and one day we're gonna get there one day we're gonna take our hard-earned money which we suffered to get and buy a car for ourselves buy a house for ourselves you know so we shouldn't let this pressure be too much on us you don't know how they what they had to do to get what they have now so it's better you be content with whatever you have it's up to you it's your life it's up to you so you choose the positive side or you choose the negative side thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button give me a thumbs up let me know what you think in this comment section below and yeah i'll see you in my next video guys peace let's not forget we are beautiful inside out and we are so unique oh my goodness women we are so so unique so we should know our worth and we should love more and hate less i'll see you in my next video guys peace